good morning, YouTube. So, this is what, how I'm gonna do this now, or starting, starting this, I guess. Um, so I'm gonna call it the wrench and bend. So I am a diesel mechanic. I work for a small trucking company. Uh, we are very short-handed right now. We have two mechanics, two shop laborers, or mechanic in training and a shop laborer. However you want to look at that. So this one is more of a vet because with my experience and my certifications that I have, I am underpaid and underutilized, and this has been going on for quite some time now. Uh, I guess I'm looking for suggestions on how to deal with the situation I have. I've been I have a trailer bay for the last year. You can say I manage it or I run it, which is more of a less of a lie, which I've been lied to by my employer, which pisses me off more than anything. Um, I am our only certified inspector our state inspections. I believe that I'm getting paid less than our low, should be our lowest paid employee, which will be our shop laborer, which we pulled off the street to replace a roof in the shop or reseal our roof in the shop. And he believes that he is more experienced than everybody else in the shop. Bugs me a little bit. You know, you know our company kind of relies on me for safety. It's my name and my number associated with our company in order to rely on our safety of our over the road and local trucks, all of our trailers. My workload is a lot more than what I'm getting paid. It's kind of on the lower end of the mechanical field. And the exact mechanical field that I have bestowed on me in the last 15 years. A little background, I have worked for this company before. I've they were very sad when I left. I had better opportunities that arose. And uh, cruising through the Facebook, kind of scrawled at my last current adventure. And once again, I was lied to. That was pretty much the last place was pretty much a work wake up call for me because, you know. I got ticked around so much there. Slide to. I think I learned by now. Uh, right now it's more of a chore for me actually going to work. I mean, I'm pretty sure I can make more on unemployment. I'm not trying to bitch about that. I know that there's going to be a lot of people here that are like, well, you're a little wuss, you're a crybaby, blah, 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 this, that, and the other. Well, you as a keyboard warrior can go fuck off because I really really don't give a shit about opinions really it's just looking for suggestions which if I get a comment it, it, with the way how I am I'll probably sit there and fucking laugh about it it really don't matter so um but yeah what's everybody's thought process on this I mean I'm curious to what everybody has to say. It's just a curiosity thing. <coughs> well, let me know what you think. Um, depending on how this video goes, 
I may put out more content, or, uh, yeah, I can't even think of the word, content, so, there's other mechanics out there that are in the diesel mechanic, or any diesel, any mechanical skill, or field, let me know exactly where you stand on the situation that I'm currently going through. Rubber side down.